Hi, I'm Mara Lathrop. Welcome to the 14th annual Port Townsend Film Festival. I'm joined by filmmaker Jamie King, um, who is here with his film, The Real Housewives of Shakespeare. Uh, and Jamie, you are the co-director, producer, and writer of this, of this little film, this little jewel. That is correct. Um, I was so excited when um, I was asked to interview you because um, your film brings together two of my favorite <laughs> entertainments, um, uh, the Real Housewife series on Bravo, mm -hmm. and Shakespeare. Yes. And I, especially his heroines. So where, um, uh, whose idea was it and how did it come to you? Uh, well, actually it was first kind of uh, originated in New York where uh, we moved from about five years ago and I have a friend named Ray Chow who I've done a lot of improv and sketch comedy with in New York and we performed at the like the UCB theater and did a bunch of comedy stuff and he was before we moved out to LA he was sort of rattling off some ideas that projects that he wanted to explore and one of them was Real Housewives of Shakespeare and I just just those words like exploded in my mind I thought that was so great I'd always love I love Shakespeare because I was, I, I went to, you know, I studied acting, I studied classical theater, so I love Shakespeare and I always loved rhyming and wordplay and I had just written a musical and I was kind of like, what now? And I really wanted to write something in verse. And so he said, Real House of Shakespeare, I was like, that's great. Uh, it, was, it sort of was dormant for like a year, eventually Ray moved out to LA and he said, you know, I want to do Real House of Shakespeare, do you want to write it? And I, I said, absolutely. And I just tore into it and cranked it out and wrote this thing in verse and then we, you know, have produced it in <laughs> various forms. Uh, Did it since. start out as a stage production? It started out as a stage production at the Second City Theater in Los Angeles um, where Ray had a connection. Mm -hmm. And that's where we found the um, Katie Neff who plays, brilliantly plays Lady Macbeth, um, was the first person cast, friend of Ray's, and she was a, already established at Second City and she loved it. And so I got us in there, and we ran for a month, and it sold out shows, and it was a great response. But I, I really decided that I wanted even more people to see it, and I wanted, I also wanted to produce it in the reality TV form that it was parodying. Right. So I decided I was, I had my graduate school thesis was coming up, and I talked to Ray, and I was like, I want to do Housewives for my thesis. Ray was on other things; he sort of stepped off. And I took over, I brought in uh, a friend of mine, uh, Ben Medina, to co-direct it with me, because I knew he could nail that visual style that I wanted, and I took over as executive producer and made this 20 minute, you know, like, TV show length uh, version of the, of the Real Housewives show, so, with all the Shakespeare characters. So, of all of them, um, I know you've already uh, mentioned Lady Macbeth. Mm -hmm. um, who are your favorites, and what is it about them, uh, both in in their original texts and what you have done with them in uh, Real Housewives? Well, I think the most the most fun thing for it, in, in order to make it a little more accessible and you know find the comedy, is like what is the what is it about every character that you can really heighten and explore and find the comedy in. So for, for Lady Macbeth, it's easy because she's really mean, <laughs> you right. just make her, and the parallels to the Real Housewives show is, is, are pretty obvious, but then like Juliet, like she's, what can you do with her? She's young, she's naive, she's this kind of, you know, wakey ingenue, and she always is attempting to kill herself, so that was the one So it's like, that. let's make her a cutter. Yes, let's make her a cutter, exactly, right. so you give her the secret cutter thing, um, and then like Ophelia, what do, what do people know about Ophelia? She's crazy, so right. you give her this kind of like name-dropping Tourette's where she's always spouting out these... Because again, you want to find the quirk, the classical quirk, and marry it to something in the in these reality shows that you would. So you do see a lot of name droppers, and so you try to marry that to Ophelia's craziness. But I love, I love all of them. It's really the the most fun part was blending the stories together and saying like, like the Midsummer Night's Dream story. How does that blend with the Macbeth story, right. and how do you tell a new story that incorporates elements from oh. from these plays, and yeah, and also kind of lives in the contemporary world of you know sex tapes and fashion shows and everything that's on Bravo. So, did you have to watch a lot of Real Housewives to research this? Well, and and if you did, which one, which girls became your favorites of uh, the of, of the uh, of the trash TV? Well, uh, I have to give it up to my lovely wife Kendra for helping me <laughs> along with that because she, it was sort of just uh, 
on in the household. I mean, it's really hard to just not be at least aware, aware of, of them. These. Exactly. Um, but I did watch a few in, in particular. There's a woman on Real Housewives of New Jersey who I think she like is going to jail or something. She was a bad. She's the she flipped. There's a famous thing where she flips the table over and she was just a hot mess and she was kind of the template for Lady Macbeth, which right. is why she's doing this thick Jersey accent. And then other than that, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is probably the one that's on the most. I mean, I watched I watched all of them, and what See, I see, I'm really an aficionado of the original. Oh, the original. Oh, see, yes, oh yeah, see, those okay. women are beautiful. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, well, it, it's all it's about getting those classic moments, like pulling out the hair weave or flipping the table right. over, and also nailing nailing the visual style. And watch, I watched the credit opening credit sequence so many times. I was like, how do I? You know, do that. They all have a head turn, and they have the little catchphrase that goes on, and then it wipes off to somebody else. And and the way that the music changes, I wanted right. to, I wanted to recreate everything as close as I could. So when does the music change in the show? It changes whenever somebody says something mean. Suddenly, if the music gets really sad, right. so you have to do that when you're editing it. What did uh, so the. Uh, The style that you developed um, came out of what you were doing on the stage, and then you really pushed it quite a bit farther once you got it into video, correct? Or on, onto film, right? Correct, yeah. Um, so, we're, what, what surprised you in that transformation process that you really didn't expect to find? Um, well, you can do so much more with. Um with with film, especially when you're when you're mimicking this this style, and I have to credit uh, my co-director Ben Medina because he he read the script and he really liked it, and he was like, you need more you need more to cut to, because you know in the stage version you've got these like five scenes and it tells a story and then everybody and does it. a dance and that's it, um, but in these reality shows you know they'll they'll cut away. You rarely see just like people talking. Often there's somebody's talking and they're showing some behavior. They're showing something that illustrates what the, what the person's talking about. So we sort of came up with all these lists of things that the characters would do. That just these kind of one-off jokes, like Kate uh, from Taming of the Shoe walking by a baby carriage and, and pouring her coffee into it. Just mm -hmm. as something that we could film and show. And then when we were producing, we had. Uh, our co-producer, who's actually also from here, Marina Macro, was like our B team, and she went off and shot all of these little one-offs. All these one vignettes. All these little vignettes, yeah. and then we were able to kind of fold them in, which kept it, kept the pace up, kept it really visually interesting, and provided some of the, the funniest jokes. That's what surprised me, is that you get these little things where like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if she poured coffee in this baby carriage, and it gets a huge laugh in the final mm -hmm. project. So that's, that was a great surprise. So, and as you just mentioned, that you are originally from here in Port Townsend. Yes. Graduate of Port Townsend High School. Yes. Year of? 2001. Class of? 2001. Mm -hmm. So you've been, and you've been out and away for a little while. I have, yeah. Went, went to New York, went to NYU, uh, Tisch for acting and theater, and lived in New York for nine years, yeah. and sort of transitioned through sketch and comedy and, and into writing and sketch writing, and then eventually decided I wanted to do screenwriting, specifically television writing, and then moved out to Los Angeles in 2010. And what have you been doing down there besides Real Housewives and <laughs> since you got there? Um, I <coughs> was enrolled in a program at Loyola Marymount University that was yeah. specifically for writers and producers of television, because I really like the collaborative uh, nature of television. I like getting in a room with other people and throwing around ideas and making things Really funny, and I, I wanted to, also I wanted a little more stability in my eventual career than yeah. film, which is can be very features can be very isolating and very you know kind of you're really on your own schedule and where TV you're kind of it's more of a nine to five but you're very creatively involved. So that was a three year program. I actually just graduated. <laughs> Thank you. And and this film was was your thesis. This was my thesis project, and it was great because we did. It, since it is a writing producing program, I came out with a lot of scripts. I've written a bunch of features and TV pilots and TV specs, and then I also got to produce something, and, mm -hmm. and I really got to touch on every aspect from casting to costuming to editing to you get. Because eventually in TV, it's the writer producers that are that are in charge of all that and right. are overseeing all of that. So that's sort of what I've been. Training that's where for. You're, that's what you're training for. 
Exactly. And I'm working for a showrunner right now. I recently got a job a kind of shadowing somebody doing just that. Yeah. So it's kind of a, a, an apprenticeship kind of thing is the way that it works. Um, so so that's, that's what I'm doing right now, it's, which I'm, I'm thrilled to be doing. And um, do you have some other projects of your own that, that you're working on on the side? Yes, always have to have projects. <laughs> always have to have projects that work on. I actually have another another movie that Ben and I are developing. Um, we're, we want to continue working together. We worked really well together as co-directing, mm -hmm. and um, so we came up. He wants to do a feature. He's done a lot of commercials, been very successful with commercials. He wants to do a feature, and he kind of got me with like, let's set it in Port Townsend. And I obviously love Port Townsend. I'm always going to come back here, and so we're developing, and it's in the early stages, but kind of a thriller mm -hmm. set in around Port Towns in this kind of like small town murder mystery using some of the great set pieces that I grew up with from like the downtown to like the bunkers and Fort mm -hmm. Warden and just pulling all of this stuff that I, you know, we both know so well into a, a feature length movie. Well, we've done other, you know, there have been other films here that have been made here in town. There's, there's one that's showing um, along, alongside of you in, in this festival. Um, and um, we'll we'll look forward to seeing you back here pretty soon. <laughs> a feature, yeah. That's that, the and uh, I, I know several actors here in town that would probably like to uh, audition for you. Oh yes, we're 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 very excited to keep working here, and we'll always you know keep coming back here. I always want to send, no matter what we do, I want to send it to PTFF. You know, great first thing. So <laughs> well, thanks for joining us today, thanks and have a me. great time with the rest of your festival, and good luck with everything you're doing. Thank you so much.